What's going on everyone? Mario here with AutoDS. In today's video, we're going to be covering one of the most popular AI Shopify store builders that can really make your whole life a lot easier, especially in the e-commerce business. A lot of us don't really know how to create our own stores, especially when it comes to building your actual Shopify store. Honestly, I've had issues with it. Sometimes the colors don't come out right. Sometimes the layout's not right. The products don't look good based off of, you know, how the background looks. So overall, it can get a little bit complicated sometimes. But in today's video, we're covering buildyourstore.ai. What is it? Well, simply put, it is one of the easiest ways to create your own online Shopify store pretty much for completely free with almost zero effort. This is gonna take no longer than 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and create a store and let me give you my honest thoughts. And with that, let's get started. So right now we're at buildyourstore.ai. This is the website that you're gonna need to go to in order to get started building your store. Now, there is another way to be able to create your own store and that's through AutoDS. And if you wanna check that out, just check this video out right here. In it, I explain everything that you need to know about that. But today we're gonna to be reviewing and talking about buildyourstore.ai. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do is to just jump over to the website and click on build my free store. Now from here, let's go ahead and start everything up. My name is Mario. So once we have everything filled in, let's go ahead and click on next. All right, now from here, we need to pick a niche. Now, which niche do you pick? Honestly, that's totally up to you. We have tons of different videos that cover pretty much every single one of these different niches. If you want some more information on those, just go ahead and check out our channel. But for today, we're gonna go ahead and choose one of my favorite niches, and that's the pets niche. If you've seen our videos before, you have heard me talk all about the pets niche and how easy it is to actually start marketing it, especially. When it comes to marketing your pet products, as long as you have a cute dog or a cute cat and they're willing to sign a waiver to be in your videos, then you have an untapped gold mine with your pets. So because of that, let's go ahead and choose pets and click on done. Now we want to select a banner. Well, we want to select two actually. So we want to select the ones that are going to be most relevant to our store. In my case, I'm going to go with this one because I'm going to do both dogs and cats. I'm going to be selling products for both. And I like this one right here just because it adds a little bit of a com comedic relief. So let's click on done. And from here, the next thing we need to do is pay attention. So it can get a little bit technical from here on out, but don't worry because I'm gonna break everything down for you step by step. And if you want, I'm also gonna have an easy to reference cheat sheet with all of the different steps as well. So if you want access to that, just go ahead and comment down below the hashtag build your store and let me know what your takeaway is from this video. All right, so let's continue. Let's go ahead and click on access Shopify. Now from here, it's gonna once again ask us for our email. So let's go ahead and type that in and click on start free trial. Right now you are able to get your Shopify plan for just $1 for the next month. Now these plans change all the time. So if by the time you're watching this video, it's got a different promotion, you know why. Now next up, Shopify is gonna ask us a few different questions. Just go ahead and skip all. Honestly, it's not that important. This part, however, is. So let's go ahead and choose where we're gonna sell. In my case, United States. Let's click on next. Now, if you already have an account, it is gonna show it here. In my case, I'm not gonna to touch this store. I'm gonna go ahead and click on add account. So apparently I already had an account with that email and it's been quite some time since I used it. So I just had to quickly unlock it by entering a quick code. But after that, we get this, we get our security settings. We can go ahead and set up our secondary option. We can go ahead and set up our two-step authentication or a recovery email. In my case, I'm just gonna tell it to remind me next time. And that's it, now it's building our store. But this is Shopify building our store, not necessarily the buildyourstore.ai. So once we're done here, it's gonna give us pretty much just our basic Shopify store. All right, now once we're at this screen, we do wanna jump back over to our build your store website and follow all of the steps that we see here. So we already did what we needed to do. We made our account, now click on done. Now in this part, this is already once we're on the section and have access to our dashboard. Let's just go ahead and take the link up here. Go ahead and cut it or copy it. I always cut it just so I can get a visual confirmation that I did and then paste it down here. Now we can go ahead and click on save. Click on done once again. And now what we need to do is choose our Shopify plan. So let's click on access Shopify. Then it's gonna take you to this page over here where you're gonna choose whether you're gonna go with the monthly or the yearly. My opinion, my suggestion is to just go for the monthly, do the first month, grind as much as you can, add as many different products as you can, market it. So that way you can start making some money, which you can then reinvest into either your entire Shopify plan or something else. So from here, let's go ahead and confirm our billing cycle. Gotta do all this fun stuff and make sure we pay for everything. And then once we have all of our payment details set up, whether that be our credit card or our PayPal, all we have to do is make sure that we click on subscribe. All right, so now back on over to the Build Your Store website, click on done. 
All right, now this part, this is where it can get a little bit technical, but trust me, again, it's very easy to get through. The way I'm gonna explain this to you is very broken down. It's very beginner friendly. I got you. So scroll all the way down, click on access Shopify. Now on this section, we wanna make sure we click on allow custom app development. It's that big black button on the bottom. Then we're gonna do it once again, allow custom app development. Now on here, we're gonna create the app and we're gonna name it. So let's just name it a simple build your store, just in case we ever need to reference it again and create app. Now after that, it's gonna take you to this page and you're gonna have two options. You're gonna have the left one, which is the configure admin and then configure storefront. We're gonna click on the first one, okay? We're gonna go to configure admin API scopes. And then from here, we're pretty much just gonna go ahead and check absolutely everything off. We're gonna give this app permission to do just about anything on our store. Quick tip, generally, if you just click on the first option, it'll automatically select everything that's under it. I wish there was a select all option though. That'll make it so much easier. All right, so once we have all that done, what we need to do is click on save. And then once that's done, all we need to do is jump back to our build your store website, click on done. Now we're gonna jump back on over to our Shopify. Trust me, I know there's a lot of jumping back and forth. We're like little rabbits here just jumping everywhere. But from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on API credentials. Then we're gonna go ahead and install the app. Click on install one more time. And then you see right here where it says reveal token once. This is the screen you're gonna get afterwards. Go ahead and click on that. And you can either highlight the whole thing or click on this little clipboard. I suggest clicking on the clipboard because that will ensure that everything is copied. So just click on that clipboard, click it a couple of different times just to make sure that you have everything copied. Run back over to the Build Your Store website, scroll all the way down, and then that same token, let's go ahead and paste it at the bottom. Then click on save and done once again. Now, this is where the fun part starts. This is where Build Your Store is gonna make our store fully unique. Let's check this out. Let's go ahead and click on customize my store. And now it's doing its magic. All right, now from here, what it's telling us to do is to go ahead and register for AutoDS. So what we can do is click on register for AutoDS down here. And if you're not already a member, just go ahead and go through this process. All you have to do is just go ahead and put your email, your name, and your password, and then you're gonna select a plan. Here we have to choose Shopify, and then we have to choose our package for AutoDS. Now there's gonna be a few different options. The three primary ones are gonna be the Import 200, the 500, and the 1000. You can go with the very basic one, but I highly suggest you go with the middle option. The middle option is gonna give you a bunch of extra features that are gonna be extremely helpful to you. And on top of that, it's gonna really make it a lot easier for you to be able to scale. So one of the most helpful features that I find on here has to be the bulk importer. When it comes to importing products, I hate just sitting there downloading each image, copying over each variation, the titles, the descriptions. It, it takes a long time if you're doing a lot of different products. So because of that, one of my favorite features of the middle version or the starter 500 is gonna be the bulk importer. It just makes life so much easier. But on top of that, you have a bunch of other features as well. Things like fulfilled by AutoDS, product sourcing, custom branding, automated orders, and a lot more. So once you're done with that and you're signed up with AutoDS, if you choose to, then you can go ahead and click on done once more. And then from here, just click on access Shopify to publish store, which means all you have to do is just get on here and remove the password. And the reason for this is because if you leave it like this, then this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna get a basic page that just has nothing on it saying that, you know, your store is opening soon. So with that being said, on this page, just go ahead and just scroll all the way down. And where it says restrict access to visitor with password, just go ahead and take that off, click on save, and we're almost ready to start selling. Now here, let's check out the store and let's talk about a few of the different things that I like and a few things that I wish were a bit different. So first off, the page itself, it looks really good. Honestly, when it comes to our different Shopify pages, I'm very critical of it. I need it to be smooth. I need it to be good on the eyes, light on the eyes, and just overall not over cumbering. Like I don't want it to have a bunch of different things in it that are just gonna over clutter pretty much everything you see. But the first thing that we're gonna see is our banners that we chose and they look really good. I love this one over here. Oh, they're covering my little puppy over here. I like dogs more than cats. But then aside from that, we have this little cool one over here as well, where the screen is also getting kind of cut, but we can, we can move this later on. Aside from that though, if we scroll down, we have a few new arrivals. So this is one thing that's really cool about Build Your Store. It actually comes preloaded with winning products. Now, if you signed up to AutoDS, you're gonna have access to all of these products and even more through the AutoDS handpick product section. But as you can see, the images are pretty high quality. Everything looks good, everything looks clean. Now, the titles, dog drinking water bowl with floating design, non-wedding, non-skid, large capacity, 
it's all right it could be made a lot better just by making it a lot shorter something that can really help you out with this is the auto ds ai title and description optimizer with that you can pretty much optimize everything that you need when it comes to the titles and the descriptions now let's go ahead and open one of these in a different tab really fast but let's keep looking at the rest after that we have our reviews which if you know me if you've seen the previous videos i absolutely love reviews if you can have your reviews in front of everyone do it. I always recommend an app called judge.me product reviews. I think this app is absolutely amazing for the simple fact that you're able to import reviews from your suppliers. So if you're importing a product from, let's say, AliExpress or Amazon, judge.me product reviews actually allows you to be able to import the reviews as well as the product. So that way you can have a ton of social proof as well. Now, these reviews are pretty generic and they're not necessarily for products themselves. They seem to be more for the store. So our furry friend has never been happier. The quality pet products from the store are both durable and delightful from Sophia L. The perfect pet paradise. Everything I've ordered has been a hit with my cats and dogs. Super quick shipping to Michael B. Michael B. Jordan. I'm just kidding. Now, these are actually not that bad. I've always talked about generic reviews and how I don't like them because a lot of people just say my dog loved it. My mom loved it. It was a great product. Everything just sounds so monotone. Everything's kind of just like bleh. You get me? But in this case, they actually, they don't. They sound pretty good. Yeah, they're a bit generic because they're not specifically talking about, let's say, one product in particular, but they are talking about the store. So that in itself, it helps a lot. So that's our front page. Everything looks good. I like the little banner up here, free shipping. It ends in 16 hours or no, 16 days, supposedly. Wink, wink, you know, never really does. The logo itself, Pet Shop. I like the logo. I think it's cute. I like the fact that it has the little dog. It is kind of small though. And honestly, at the end of the day, I'm probably not going to name my store Pet Shop. So this is something that's going to end up going. This is something that I'm going to end up changing along with a few other things that you are going to have to update or change. But let's run to the product page really fast and let's see how it looks here. This right here was really cool. Did you see that? The moment that we jumped onto the website, oh, there you go. It starts shaking. It's telling you, hey, I'm right here. Check out with PayPal. Start ordering right now. That's pretty cool. Aside from that, we have our product title. We have some pretty clean images. Everything on the site is really nice. I like the fact that it's not taking up a lot of space and it's not spilling over to the bottom. The product page itself is actually really clean. These pictures, however, they could be a little bit bigger. So that way it could be a little bit easier to see what you're clicking on. But at the end of the day, once you click it, you know, everything expands on the side. But this right here, I would make it a little bit bigger. Aside from that, we have all of our different variations. Nice. Everything changes with our selection as well. Free shipping to Miami. Oh, look at that. We'll receive it between May 27th and June 18th. I like that. I like that it gives you the estimated shipping. That's going to give a lot of information to the customers. And honestly, they're, they're going to appreciate that. You got your 30 day warranty and seven days for exchanges and returns. Obviously, this is generic. This is something that the store puts in. This is going to be up to you to change based on your preferences and your policies. But if we keep scrolling down, incredible, beautiful craftsmanship and style. Oh, this is a review. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. The only thing I don't like is the fact that it doesn't necessarily look like a review. So what we would do here is probably add a badge with maybe, you know, some stars or something like that, or maybe a picture. But this is actually pretty cool. I like the fact that that's there. Now we have a description. Introduce a cleaner, healthier way for your dog to drink water. No, let's go. Everything looks good. One thing that I'm not a huge fan of is that everything is in millimeters. Honestly, if you're shipping or you're selling in the U.S., Changes the inches. I know we have an inferior metric system, but what can I say? Now, aside from that, we have the rest of the description. Pretty clean, straightforward, related products, and our trust badges. Nice. I like it. The only thing I would change again is this right here. I would either make it look a bit more like a review or just simply give it its own section right on top of the related products under the description. Aside from that, though, another thing that I noticed is that when you scroll down, you have this right here, this little buy now or add to cart button that follows you in case it's not within reach. So you want to add one of these. Just go ahead there. Buy now. Done. Pretty cool. Pretty efficient. Now, up here, we have a few other things. So we have the new arrivals. All right. That looks pretty good. We don't have too many products, but it does come preloaded with the four products. Contact us. So this will automatically shoot over an email to us. This is pretty good to already have that on there and track your order. Obviously, everyone's going to be hitting you up asking, hey, where's my order, especially if it takes a little bit long. So this is very convenient to have. Now, let's check out down here. This is actually very important because this is where the customer care is and where all of our policies are going to be as well. 
This is something that we really, really need to take a look at. So first off, we have our about us. We got our facts or our frequently asked questions, our contact us, which is actually what we're on right now. Our shipping policy, return, order tracking, and terms and conditions. I opened everything just so that way we can take a quick look over everything. And I can show you a few things that I think could be a little bit better. But at the end of the day, there's not really much you can do about it. So let's go. Now about us. Pet loving family, welcome to our pet loving family where every product is pos selected for comfort. That sounds really cool. Commitment to quality. Okay, so this screen looks good, pretty easy. Probably add a little bit of an extra touch to it, add some information, make it a bit personal, make it look like a small business. People love shopping from small businesses. Then our frequently asked questions. Now, how long does shipping take? Our standard shipping typically takes three to five business days. Now, this is what I was talking about. These are a few of the things that you need to update. So how long does your shipping take? Is it really going to take three to five days? That's up to you and your suppliers. If you're using the AutoDS private suppliers, then a lot of the products are going to ship pretty quickly, sometimes rivaling Amazon between two, three, four days. But again, this is really going to depend on your supplier. So I highly suggest you take a look at this and update it as needed. Same thing with do you ship internationally? Right now, it's set by default to yes, but not everyone's going to want to ship international. I typically don't. I keep it to one country and that's it. But again, that's just me. So in my case, I would change this over and put no, we don't ship internationally. How can I track my order? This is pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Cancel. And how do I contact you? Now, how do I contact you? This is another one of those that's very important. This isn't something that's pre-filled with the right information. So this is all something that you really want to take a look at and make sure you have up to date. Because if people see this, support at example.com or a generic phone number, 555-123, they're going to be like, what is this? And they're just going to go somewhere else. Now, aside from that, we have the contact, which we saw, and the shipping policy. Now, the shipping policy is also, again, one of those that you need to update based on your preferences, your shipping policy. So looking through this, we have, thank you for choosing Pet Shop. Here, we need to change this to whatever our store name is going to be. Now, scroll down, order processing, make sure that this is accurate. Orders placed on weekends or holidays, we process on the next business day. Make sure that's accurate. Shipping rates. Just make sure that everything on here is accurate to your store. Delivery issues. Look at this one right here. Service at petshop.com. You want to make sure that your emails are up to date too. You want to make sure that you have info at, I don't know, mypetshopstore.com, whatever it is. Just make sure it's the right one. Then when you scroll down, same thing with the returns and refunds. Make sure that your return policy is how it should be and with the right policy, the right email over here as well, the right phone number, the right email, the right address. Now, this is something that I really wish could have been a little bit more streamlined. You know, maybe at the beginning of registering, it'll take your address and then prefill everything here. But at the end of the day, it's not really that big of a deal. So what are my thoughts overall on the Build Your Store website? Well, honestly, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's a pretty powerful tool and it's something that can really streamline your entire dropshipping process, especially at the beginning. As you saw, there's a few things that you need to tinker with. You need to click here, click there, make sure you check this off. But honestly, at the end of the day, compared to actually creating your own store, it's so much easier to, you know, just click on a few different buttons, make sure a few things are checked off than it is to just create everything from scratch. So there is that it does make it a lot easier. And quite frankly, the layout of the store, it was built very, very well. Everything was put together very nicely. The logo itself was good. If you don't want to create a logo and just go with everything that the website gave you, then you can go ahead and just do that. Of course, it'll be kind of generic, especially when it comes to the name. But aside from that, everything else was really good. Everything looked really good. The store was very clean. Product pages, I absolutely loved. They weren't overcumbered with a bunch of different images, a bunch of empty space, a lot of negative space. Everything was structured very well. Everything was structured very clean. And overall, it did a very good job. What do I wish was different? Well, for one, like I said earlier, the pre-filled information. So I think that the website can easily just ask you at the beginning, what's your phone number? What's the address you want? And then just take that information and auto fill it on the proper pages. But again, it's not that big of a deal. It's just one or two extra steps that you need to go ahead and, you know, just make sure everything is accurate, which regardless, it's something you're going to have to do to make sure everything is accurate, go through all of your pages. But aside from that, I think it's a great tool. I think it's very powerful. And the fact that you can create the entire store for pretty much completely free is even better. It's the cherry on the cake or cherry on the whipped cream, however the saying goes. So that was buildyourstore.ai. What did you think about it? Let me know down in the comments below. Remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet with everything that I talked about pretty much lined up step by step for you, then just go ahead and comment the hashtag 
build your store and let me know what your takeaway was from this video personally i love the fact that you can pretty much create a store from scratch in just a few minutes honestly it makes things a lot easier and even if you don't fully like the layout which i think it looks pretty good but even if you don't fully like it it's a lot easier to customize it at this step than it is to make everything from scratch so once again, if you want your own Shopify store created for you completely for free using AI, then just make sure to check out the link in the description down below as well. We're going to have the link there to the Build Your Store website. Again, let me know what you thought about Build Your Store down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, if you made it this far, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure to ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Once again, thanks for watching. My name is Mario with AutoDS, and I'll catch you all next time.